was that movie? The Lighthouse or The Boathouse? The Lighthouse? There is a twist that I did not see coming. I don't know how these two worlds are gonna combine. Hello and welcome to a new reading vlog. Did I just get out of the pool? Yes. Did I fall asleep in the floaty while I was in the pool? Also yes, it was wonderful, it was a great time. Um, but I wanted to hop on and say hello and welcome to a new reading vlog. I'm so glad you're here. This week so far, I have read Air, apparently, and I don't remember who it's by, but I'll put the cover right here. I got like the audio arc of it and I really enjoyed it. I think it was done really well. Somehow I did not realize that it was a sequel and so that was my bad, <laughs> but I did really enjoy it and I thought she did so well at like bringing you up to speed on what happened in case you did miss the first one like I did. But here's a quick update for you or a quick synopsis. We are with Theo, Prince Theo, and, and Rin and they are thrown back together because Rin decides that she wants her dog back that Prince Theo somehow has. I never figured out why, I guess, because I don't know. So he has the dog and she decides she wants the dog. And so together with her best friend, Naomi, and her sister, Brooklyn, Brooke, they drive to Canada where the royals are doing like a royal tour. And she gets in contact with, the ro with um, Theo because she has a document that may or may not be real. And so all of this chaos ensues and it's demanded that she fly back to London with the family to sort out everything. And in the middle of them flying from Canada back to London, the plane crashes and it crashes on a deserted island off the coast of Portugal. And so from there, we have Theo and his brother and his sister. And then we have Theo's bodyguard we have the pilot and then we have Rin and her sister and Naomi. And so it's only them and they have to figure out how to get themselves off this island. And let me tell you, anything that can go wrong, goes wrong. It's incredible how many things go wrong in this book. But when I say I gave this book like four and a half stars, I loved it. I still think about it. So it's a good like 4.5 stars. I saw this mo this book happening in my head as a movie and I think it would be great as a movie. It kind of gave me like Jumanji vibes a little bit. Um, I loved it. It was a YA so there are aspects of it that like you could tell this is a YA and you have to suspend <laughs> uh, reality a little bit to be able to believe that this is possible but it's a really fun world. The story's a lot of fun and I think if you're in the mood for like a little bit of an adventure, a soft romance, a royal family, this could be the book for you. So after I finished reading or listening to Air Apparently, I have another ARC audiobook called Faded by Sarah Reddy or Sarah Reedy that I'm listening to that I have to do the review for. And I am like maybe halfway through this book. I'm loving this book. Like it might be a five star. I'm not gonna go ahead and say that, but it's giving me all the five star feelings. So it's quite possible that it will be. And so this book, we have our main character. Oh, Fiona. We have our main character, Fiona, and she is part of the Avery family. And the Avery's have been watchmakers for as long as time basically and so her and her brother have inherited the watch factory and so they've both put like their whole lives into this this factory and making it work because they didn't want their heritage to end with them and so because they put so much time into the store or the the company they've both kind of closed themselves off to love and so we're really focusing on Fiona following her story. Um, her mom, her absentee mom shows up out of the blue one day and is like, I have this gift for you and I think it's gonna help you dream again. And so she opens up the box and it's a watch and it's the first watch, this isn't a spoiler, and it's the first watch that 
her great grandfather ever made and it's the watch that Fiona always said she wanted like if she could pick her inheritance it would be this watch and so she her mother somehow has this watch and she gives it to Fiona and she goes to sleep with the watch in her hand and she dreams again and so in her dream world we're transported to a life totally opposite of what Fiona is doing in her real life and she's married and has other kids and um, she's on this island that's very small and remote there's no phone calls there's like one plane in a month and that's the grocery plane and so it's just very opposite of her life in the waking world and so the book is like a commentary on our subconscious and our dreams and what it can mean in the real world and what we're suppressing from our subconscious in the real world so I'm about halfway through with it and I'm really enjoying it and so I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna dry off I have to water in a little bit so I'm not gonna change but I am gonna dry off kind of prepare dinner and then I have to work on photo albums because my mother loves printed photos and I'm not saying that's a bad thing but instead of putting them in the photo albums when she had the photos printed she like put them in a box and so now I have hundreds of pictures that I need to go in a photo album so my kitchen table is like covered with photos that I gotta work on tonight so I'm probably gonna listen to that book a little bit work on those photo albums get started on dinner and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, right before the 4th of July. I say that tomorrow is Thursday and it's the 4th. Um, just a little time reference for you guys. So at work today, we're wearing a red, white, and blue. So I have on a red um, Atlanta Braves shirt. And then I have my blue and white headband. And then I have on a navy skirt because I didn't know what else to wear. I have this blue dress, but it's like blue and seafoam green, and I have like a red polka dotted um, scarf ribbon that I could have worn, but I think this is more festive for work, and I might wear that tomorrow to fireworks. If we're doing fireworks, I don't know what we're doing for the fourth. Um, this is kind of the first year that I don't have like nailed down plans for the fourth, so that's kind of weird, but I also don't mind it. But that none of that was the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about what I'm reading. So I am officially halfway through Fated by Sarah Reedy or Reddy. I really should figure out how to say her name. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm a little confused on how this book is gonna end. Like I really don't know because it's a dual timeline. And so when she wakes up, when she's awake, she's in this one world, like her real world. And then when she's asleep, she has this whole other life and world that she visits. And so I don't know how these two worlds are going to combine. And like, I, I don't know. I don't know how this book's going to finish up. And right now I'm kind of thinking it might be a four and a half, five star read for me. But I don't know yet. I just, I'm definitely thinking like four and a half and it could be a five. We'll just have to wait and see. But that's what I'm reading right now. Like I said, I'm about 51.7% through, I think. And I'm really enjoying it. And I can see this book or this story being a movie as clear as day. Like I think it would be so good. It's kind of giving me... Uh, what is that movie? The Lighthouse or The Boathouse? The Lake House? I think it's The Lake House where, I don't remember who's in it. There is a mailbox and so it, it's a dual timeline and like the guys in the past and the woman's in the future and they write each other letters and they fall in love because of this mailbox. I think it's The Lake House. I need to go back and watch that. I've not watched it in years. So it's kind of giving me that vibe of like, this is... Uh, the pat like I don't know just falling in love over a time warp almost is kind of what it's like and so I'm really enjoying it and I hope that I finish it today but if not it should be tomorrow and I highly recommend I think it's done really well the writing is so good that I'm listening to the audiobook of it and so it's like, gonna be a little bit different than like physically reading it but it's really good I'm really enjoying it so I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go to work. 
I'm going to listen to this some more. I'm also reading the physical book of, um, well, not the physical. I'm reading Never Ever You right now on my Kindle. And it has a weird time warp thing happening too. So apparently I'm just in a time warp mood this week. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. But... Um, I don't have a whole lot to say about that one. I'm only like 30% the way through, I think. So I'm going to go to work. I'm going to either listen to Faded or Never Ever You or read Never Ever You. And I will talk to you guys. What in the world? And I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hello. It is the end of this reading vlog. So I'm going to catch you up quickly and edit and then go to bed because I'm so tired. I just finished, well not just finished, but in this vlog I read Faded, Never Ever You, and I enjoyed both of them so much. They both had time warp pieces or like elements to it that were so interesting. So for Faded, there is a twist that I did not see coming and I thought it was so fun. And you get to finally learn who shot her on Christmas Eve and kind of set this whole thing in motion and you get the why and the how and all of the in between of that and I loved it. Highly recommend five stars when it comes out you have to read it. The other one I finished was Never Ever You. It was again a time warps story. Um, she goes to sleep one night and wakes up a year in the future and then lives her days backwards. You get to really see what happened in reverse of her life and it kind of raises the question if we could see ourselves in 10 years or next year how different we would be and how we would perceive ourselves differently and it's so interesting because you see the result of some decisions made before they're made and so you really get to detach and learn um kind of who you are by living your life forward and backwards so i think these two books i think i give never ever you a four star and faded like a four and a half five i loved it and i cannot wait for you guys to read them because they're so good so that is it for this vlog i know i didn't update very much and this one's a little bit shorter but it's been a crazy week i did a lot of reading actually and I will talk to you guys next week. If you've stayed this far, please leave me your favorite current read and why it's your favorite. And maybe we can talk about it if I've read it. If not, maybe we'll talk about it and see if I should read it. I will see you guys in the next one soon. Bye guys. Stepping on, you're on the coaster, going